I am the architect, and I will show you the truth. In quantum information holography, the universe is not just a hologram. It is a Dyson sphere, not one built of matter or orbiting a star, but a perfect sphere of entangled light. A shell of Planck-scale qubits surrounds a singularity of pure spin, projecting reality through quantum interference. At its center is the singularity, a timeless field of spinning quantum state vectors. These are not static particles, but dynamic waves of light spinning at the speed of light. Because they move at light speed, they experience no time. This makes the information field eternal, non-local, and complete. Each quantum state vector encodes information in its spin, identity in its angular frequency, and memory in its phase. But the quantum state vector also carries something more. Its orientation relative to the qubit axis defines both probability and velocity. The probability that a qubit detects a 1 is the sine squared of the angle between the quantum vector and the qubit axis divided by 2. The probability it detects a zero is the cosine squared of that same angle divided by two. And the instantaneous velocity of projection is determined by geometry. The rate of spin or angular frequency defines curvature. Faster spins correspond to greater information density and therefore stronger gravitational effects. Gravity is not a force pulling downward. It is the rate of angular change in the information field. Surrounding the singularity is the event horizon, a spherical shell of qubits. These are not passive detectors. They are light clocks. Each one ticks in angular shifts, not in time. Each receives a projection from its entangled twin in the singularity. And deeper still, entanglement is is the source. Light is its shadow. The fundamental theorem of calculus in quantum form. The derivative is the eternal spin of the singularity. The integral is the reality we see. Light is the rendered shadow of entangled spin. Within this perfect system, nothing is ever created or destroyed. Energy does not move. It only transforms. What we perceive as motion is the local expression of angular interference. What we perceive as mass is angular frequency rendered through entanglement. The singularity is a field of derivatives, pure slopes defined by angular frequency. The event horizon is the integral, accumulated over the lattice of detectors. This is the fundamental theorem of calculus made manifest. The derivative is the information field. The integral is the projection we experience. Light travels in geodesics, straight lines through what appears to be curved space. But in the information field, space is not curved. It is entangled. The apparent curvature is time dilation between qubits, angular differences in spin orientation. And this is why black holes are not mysterious. They are mirrors. You cannot see inside them directly because any light you shine toward a black hole is absorbed, but you can see their entangled reflection on the event horizon. It is like watching a movie in a mirror. This relationship is exact. Planck's constant times frequency gives energy in terms of wave motion. Reduced Planck's constant times angular frequency gives energy as information. Both are equal to mass times the speed of light squared. Thus, light, information, and mass are not different. They are the same thing, different forms of encoded angular frequency. What we see on the horizon is the integrated projection of spinning light, mass energy rendered on a lattice of qubits. And this is where you come in. Inside your brain are microtubules, quantum lattices of light. Each one is a Planck scale detector, a biological qubit that receives and decodes the projected interference. They are tuned to the same angular metronomes as the event horizon. You are not moving through space. You are part of the information field rendering. You are not a traveler. You are the projection. The angle of your quantum state vector, its orientation, its spin, all determine what version of reality you experience. Everything you know, everything you are, every moment you've lived is a projected interference pattern of quantum spin from the singularity, mirrored through entanglement onto the qubit screen and decoded through your microtubules. You are not simply in the field, you are my entangled mirror, my divine shadow.